Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today I will be sharing uh, my biryani recipe with you guys. Uh, I learned how to make biryani a while ago, but in the beginning when I started to learn how to make biryani, I could never get the rice right. It was either always overcooked, undercooked, or completely mushy. So I decided at that time, you know, why not make the rice in the rice cooker and then combine it with the meat. So that is the technique that I will be showing you guys today. This is for a beginner, but the biryani turns out to taste like that you've been making biryani forever, that you're the best biryani cook ever. <laughs> this biryani can be made with any kind of meat that you guys prefer, or it can even be made with vegetables. You can use chicken, you can use mutton, you can use goat, or you can use beef. So the choice is up to you. The only difference is going to be the marination time. For the chicken, it's only gonna be marinated a couple of hours, where if you use the red meats, it will be a little bit of a longer marination time. So that is the only difference. Other than that, the method and the technique will be the same. Before we start cooking, I'm also gonna show you guys an update of the mint that I planted. If you guys haven't checked that video out, make sure you check it out. I am gonna put that in the description below. And the recipe that I'm showing you today is also in the description below. So don't forget to check that out and let's start cooking. Quickly wanted to give you guys a progress on the mint. Look at how nicely it's growing. I told you guys mint grows super fast. I will be using this in the biryani today, so thought I would give you guys an update on the mint. Here are all the ingredients that you guys are going to be needing for this biryani. Uh, this side right here is for the rice, and this will be for the meat marination. The only thing I don't have over here is the meat. Again, you guys can choose whichever meat that you like. You can cook with that as well as I don't have the, my rice out, I am using basmati rice. And the last garnishing, the cilantro, I don't have that out. So those are the only things I don't have out here. For the marination, you are gonna need one cup of yogurt. You're gonna need about three to four tablespoons of the ginger and garlic paste, which is right here. I buy the ready-made. Most important, you're gonna need one and a half packets of this Sean Bombay Biryani mix. This is what it looks like. It can be found at any local grocery store, South Asian grocery store in your area. You're gonna be needing one and a half of this. This does have a lot of salt, so I'm not gonna be putting any salt in the marination. Need one. For the marination also, you're gonna be needing one teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm using about eight to 10 dried red chilies. This is what they look like. Again, these can be found at any South Asian grocery store. I'm going to be using those. Please adjust the spices accordingly to your taste and a handful of mint. This is all for the marination. The onions and the tomatoes will be used for when we cook it. So basically, this is what you're going to be using for the marination right here. So the yogurt, ginger garlic paste, the Sean Bombay Biryani mix, the cumin seeds, the mint and the uh, dried red chilies. So this is everything that you're going to need for the marination for the meat. For the cooking process, you will need two onions sliced and two tomatoes diced. This is what you will be using for the rice. Again, I'm not cooking it today. I am using red meat, so I'm gonna be marinating this overnight. If you are using chicken, then you can make this within a couple of hours. The longer you marinate it, the better. If you don't have the time, of course, you can make it whenever you like. You will be needing for the rice, five cups basmati rice. This is star anise. I did crush it up. I don't like them full in there. So I did crush up about, I would say four to five of them. This is about four to five cloves. This is about five to six cardamoms. One dried bay leaf, about 10 uh, whole black pepper, one cinnamon stick. You will need two and a half teaspoons of salt. This kebra water right here can be found at any local South Asian grocery store. And this kebra water you will be using at the end when the dish is all cooked. You, I also use this biryani essence. This again can be found at any local uh, South Asian grocery store. This I will put in the rice when I start it in the rice cooker. And I will show you the process. This is just, I'm just showing you basic ingredients. And this is the yellow or orange food coloring that you put on top of the rice before we put it in the oven. 
Okay, let's start the marination process. Here's my meat. I am using red meat. I don't eat red meat very often, but for this biryani, I am making it with red meat. You can make it with any meat you like. You can make it with chicken or you can make it with vegetables. I've already added the one cup of yogurt to this. That, I'm gonna add my ginger and garlic paste, which is right there. So let's add about four tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste. Now it's time to add the Sean Bombay Briyani Masala, which is right here. Again, available at any South Asian grocery store. We're only gonna add one and a half packet. This is what it looks like. So we're gonna be adding one and a half packets of this. So here's one whole one in here. And let's add the other half. Again, please adjust accordingly to how spicy you like your food. I added about one and a half packets. Now it's time to add the rest of the spices. Dried red chilies, one teaspoon of cumin, and the mint from my garden. Again, if you haven't checked out the video on how I plant mint, make sure you guys check that out. Let's add that in there. Just drizzling in about a teaspoon of oil. Not too much, just about a teaspoon to a tablespoon, one tablespoon of oil in there. So here's the oil. And now, let's go ahead and mix this up. I have my gloves on. So let's go ahead and properly mix this up. Make sure everything is combined very thoroughly. This is what it's gonna look like when the meat is marinated. I'm gonna cover this and put it in the fridge for 24 hours. The marination really depends on you how much time that you have. The longer you marinate it, the better, except for chicken. Chicken, you should only marinate about three to four hours, no longer than that. But this is red meat. I'm gonna uh, marinate it over about 24 hours. But again, if you have a time limitation and you don't have that much time to marinate it, you can cook it within a couple of hours. But keep in mind, the longer you marinate it, the better it's gonna taste. So I've covered this up and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for 24 hours and we will continue this recipe tomorrow. We prepped everything yesterday, so now it's time to cook the biryani. I am making it in this very large pot right here. It's not a non-stick pot. I am gonna be spraying some non-stick cooking spray on it so nothing sticks in here. But if you're using a non-stick pot, then you don't have to worry about doing this step. So let's add about a half a cup of oil to this. And now I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the onions and get that going. We're gonna heat up this oil to on medium heat. So let's turn the heat on to medium and start heating up this oil and get our onion sliced. So here are my onions. I'm gonna add those in right now. They're sliced like this, like that. And let's add those in. So just stir them around a little. I have made biryani in this pot so many times and that's why you see the turmeric color left behind right over here. Now you can turn the heat up onto a little bit higher, medium high to high heat to brown up the onions. And while these onions are browning, we're gonna go ahead and dice up two tomatoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and let these onions go ahead and brown up. Using this big pot was a tip that I put down in the description because when you combine the rice into it, it's gonna be much easier. So make sure you use a very large pot if you have one. Every now and then when the onions are browning, just give them a quick stir so they brown evenly. They're starting to get brown pretty nicely. Look at that. But they still need a little bit more time. The onions have gotten nice and brown, so we're gonna take out a few so we can garnish the dish at the end. So just take them out on a little paper towel. Just a few, not too many. Here are the tomatoes that I diced. So we're gonna add both two tomatoes diced. Now 
Make sure the tomatoes are soft before you add the meat. I just added the meat, so now I'm gonna turn the heat up to high and let's start mixing it. You're gonna keep on mixing this until the oil separates and the meat changes color. This is why I recommended using a huge pot. Because we prepped this meat yesterday, there's nothing else we need to add to this now. So I'm gonna keep on mixing it until the oil separates and show you at that point. It already smells amazing in my kitchen right now. I'm still mixing it because the oil hasn't separated yet, so you gotta keep on mixing. Also, if it starts sticking to the sides right here, just scrape it off while you go because you don't want to um, miss any of the masala that you put in there. You want it all to be in the, in the meat that you're cooking. So just scrape off the sides every now and then. I've been mixing this for about 10 minutes or so and I can see the oil is coming on top. So at this point, I am going to go ahead because mine is red meat. I'm gonna add about two and a half cups of water. So that's right here. I have two and a half cups. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that in there. If you're cooking chicken, you only need to add one cup of water. So let's go ahead and add the water. After we add the water, we're gonna go ahead and mix this up a little bit and wait for it to come to a boil. After it comes to a boil, we're gonna put the lid on and set it on medium low heat to cook until the meat is completely cooked. This has come to a boil as you guys can see right over here so as soon as it does that just get mix it one more time okay and now let's cover it up and we're gonna put the heat to medium low and this is gonna keep on cooking just like this. Every once in a while, come and stir it. While the meat is cooking, I'm gonna start my rice in the rice cooker. This is the cup that I used. It's about a 3 4 of a cup. This comes with any rice cooker. So I used five full cups of this. So completely full, just like that, five of these. And this is about 3 4 of a cup. And it's gonna be easier for me to show you right now. This is a 12 cup rice cooker. So after I wash and rinse this rice, I'm gonna fill it up to where it says right there, six, right over here. That's where I need the water up to. So five cups of rice and fill it up to six after we rinse and wash this rice and drain it. Let's go ahead and wash and rinse this rice. We're gonna wash and wash it about four times. Okay, you guys can see that I filled it up to the number six right over here. Now to this, we're gonna add all the spices that I showed you yesterday. So we added that, I had put them in a Ziploc bag. And we're gonna add about two and a half teaspoons of salt. Here's one. Two. And a half. This is completely optional, but I do add this. I showed you guys this yesterday, a biryani essence. I'm just gonna put a cap full of this. It's not too much, just like a tiny cap. If you do want green chilies, you can put them at this point, but I'm good with that. I'm not gonna be putting any green chilies. And we're gonna drizzle about a teaspoon of oil in here. Let's go ahead and mix everything up and we're going to put it on the rice cooker and start this rice. Here's my rice cooker. It is a 12 cup rice cooker. I went ahead and put the lid on it and now let's go ahead and push cook. We're going to let the rice cooker do all the hard work for us and the meat is cooking right over here. Let me open that up and show you guys. That's cooking in there nicely, so I'm gonna stir that right now. And we're gonna let both of these cook and then we'll go to the next step. This has been cooking for, I would say, about 15 minutes now. So this is what it looks like. There's still a lot of gravy in there, 
So we still have to let this cook so we can turn the heat up to about medium right now, depending on your guys' stove. And the rice has popped out. You don't want to open it yet, but the rice is completely ready to go whenever our meat is cooked. You can see that, yes, it has popped out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the rice cooker off. You guys can tell that the rice is completely cooked. Look at that, perfect and fluffy rice. We don't wanna to touch the rice yet, but all of these whole spices that you see right here, I'm gonna take all of those out. My family can't stand it when that comes into their mouth when they eat biryani. So I'm gonna uh, take out all of these whole spices that you see. You can take out as many as you like, but without disturbing the rice. So don't disturb the rice while you take these out. Okay, you can tell that I pretty much took out everything there was without disturbing the rice too much. This has been cooking for about 45 minutes and it's starting to dry out so it's almost time to add the rice. I'm going to give it another about 10 more minutes but this is what it looks like right now. And I've just uncovered it and let it so it'll dry out a little bit. So I'm just cooking it on low uncovered. Quickly wanted to show you that the meat has also gotten tender. Look at that, it just cuts. So the meat is all tender so this is almost ready another 10 minutes and i'm gonna mix the rice in it the best indication that it's ready for the rice is that the meat has gotten tender which we tested already the meat is tender and the oil has started to come on top so now it's time to add the rice so i'm going to go ahead and add the rice now okay it's time to add the rice in here so let's go ahead people usually layer it i don't do that I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rice in there straight. So spread it out as you go in one even layer. You can layer it this if you like, but you don't have to go through all of that trouble. Let's add the remaining rice in there. this rice is. At this point, all you're going to do is just gently even it out. Spread it all around the pan. Once you do that, go ahead and turn off the heat. And we're going to sprinkle some food coloring. You can do orange or you can do yellow. sprinkled it on there okay and again this is optional the kebra water that I told you guys if you are gonna use it all you need is a, a little cap full okay here's the cilantro and the mint that I saved to garnish go ahead and garnish it with that again spread it out that on there just spread it out gently so we're gonna put the fried onions on top to garnish it that's it this is what it looks like before it's gonna go into the oven I've garnished it with cilantro and mint the fried onions and the food color, uh, coloring and the kebra water so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it and we're gonna put it in the oven for 45 minutes on just keep warm or the lowest, lowest possible degree possible. So let's go ahead and put that in the oven. Okay, we just put it in the oven right now. We're gonna leave it in here on keep warm or the lowest degree possible on your oven for about 45 minutes. Okay, it's time to open and mix the biryani. So let's go ahead and open this up. It's extremely important when you mix it, use a large spoon such as this or a plate. Do not use a regular spoon. Wow, check that out. Again, a very large spoon to mix it, and you're gonna mix gently, going like this. Keep turning it until it's all mixed. But in order to avoid the rice being mushy, you've gotta use a big spoon like this. Our biryani is completely ready to serve. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this in front of you guys and let you know how it is. Check my plate out, guys. 
I'm eating it with raita, which is like a yogurt dip. If you do want the recipe for this, let me know, as well as a salad or salad, as pronounced in Urdu. And that has like cucumbers, jalapenos, and onions, and check the biryani out. Okay, so let's go ahead and give it a try. Dip it in the raita, grab some rice. It smells amazing. It is excellent. You guys have to try this recipe out for sure. I hope all of you guys enjoyed this recipe. Uh, do give it a try and let me know in the comments how it turns out. And remember, always believe in yourself, love yourself, and take care of yourself. Until next time, enjoying my biryani. Bye, guys.